Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. It's Liz of the Lightworker here. Today, guys, I'm bringing you a reading. Viewer's request, we're going to talk about a female divine Aquarius and a male divine Libra. A twin flame union. These are 90% uh, separation readings, okay? And you guys, I will leave a link in the description box if you're interested in a twin flame separation support group that I have started and it's private, okay? It's just a place where others can come to talk and share their experiences and, you know, sort of vent some things out. And I put lots of good information on there. And as soon as the group grows larger, I will be doing some readings within the group live. So let's get into this. Aquarius Divine Female. Let's get into her energy first. So I feel like she's a really strong, very traditional um, sort of woman here, but I'm feeling like, you know, there are some things, there's some fears, there's some, uh, control issues. There's some things that sort of hold her back here from having the ultimate connection or the ultimate relationship that she so wants with her divine male counterpart. Okay, getting a lot of energy of like a strong, bold, very fiery type person. I would not be surprised if she had some fire as her rising sign in her chart or as her moon sign in her chart. Um, but I'm getting that she has a very intense energy, very upfront, very in your face sort of energy. Um, and you guys, my doggy is over here. So if you see her sort of wander her way onto the table, I think it's because she wants to put her little paw on this uh, reading. But anyway, I feel like with these two signs, to me, this is feeling like an Aries energy, like sort of a very strong, powerful, um, in charge sort of energy. Someone who's reliable, uh, the go-to person, the one that's everybody's rock sort of strength. But when the devil card comes and pops in, to me that's saying there's some issues within. There's some issues of uh, fear issues, fear-based. Um, there's some control issues. There's some codependency issues. There could be like sort of hints or, or, or thoughts of cheating at times where you're kind of lustful, okay? Um, I feel like she is in fear while she's in separation, okay? There's not a lot that is allowing her to move forward with these energies. Um, sort of like this stubborn sort of, you know, I'm not budging type energy, okay? And there could be addictions. I do throw that out there when I see the devil card, okay? And addictions are not just limited to drugs. They're, limits, they're uh, limitless, actually, um, when it comes to um, addictions, okay? So there could be that. There could have been some cheating here, infidelity. Um, there could have been something that even possibly may have broken up a marriage here, um, okay, so those things could be relevant. If they're not, toss them. If they resonate, keep them, okay? So let's get into our Libra male. So I feel automatically like he may have been the one who walked away from this. I feel like he was not satisfied. I feel like he abandoned this situation. Um, maybe he thought about revisiting this at a later time. I'm not sure. I just feel like he felt disconnected. He felt like he needed to sort of get away from this. He needed to seek new opportunities in life, uh, sort of soul search, sort of find himself. I feel like he is in a position now where he is really nurturing himself. He's tending to his needs. He is, I feel, single, okay? I don't feel like there's any one particular person he's with or a woman that he's with. I mean, it's possible, maybe a, 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 a someone that he's interested in outside of this union, okay? But what he's looking for is a strong, independent woman, okay? With no control issues, no neediness whatsoever. He would like to see uh, his partnership uh, with a woman or, or, or whatever uh, he chooses to be very strong, to be very... Um, sort of in control of her emotions and in control of her own needs in life, okay? But I do feel like he was the one that walked away here. And I feel like there, yes, there could have been a better opportunity for him. I don't want to say it may have been another woman, but I'm getting a sense that another woman could have come in that did help him reach a more spiritual sort of place. There could be that um, he himself 
has reached a good place of independence where money is good now and you know he's sort of managing things well and he's released a lot of the pain of the past and working on you know continuing sort of doing that and and finding opportunities in life that are fruitful for him okay keeping him sort of moving on but i do feel like he has let go a bit um i know that's sort of hard to accept i do feel like there could be a time where he reaches back out to see what's happening um or he may have already done that okay and the energy here unfortunately is sort of like um not really open to change okay to me these cards here indicate this is someone not open to change at this time okay or they're letting their negativity get the best of them so let's go down the middle now and see here some additional cards yeah okay so there's a lot of depression here between both sides okay even though seemingly our libra has moved on there's still some depression here okay these are like afterthoughts there's lots and lots of afterthoughts here okay um on his part on her part i feel more like she's having a hard time accepting and she's having a hard time dealing with like shame or guilt feelings okay because there are shame and guilt feelings there is a sense of wanting to abandon even yourself in a dark time like this where you're feeling so um, distraught over the loss of your twin so that that's arisen those feelings are there okay sort of like not seeing the light of day there's dark clouds dark clouds dark clouds okay um, not even being able to help anybody else because you can't even help yourself at this time okay it's really a state of despair I mean and it could be other things yes depression but I'm feeling like the depression could come from other places not just over this okay I feel like if there was depression on either side here it's always been there okay this is just sort of thrusted it into uh, a different level of depression okay there's an apology due somewhere here okay um, I'm feeling like the need to apologize the need of acceptance uh, the need to sort of um, you know give give yourself some self-love and admiration yeah, and I do feel like this was rather difficult here to choose to walk away or choose to stay, okay? But I also feel like this is two sides of the mind also battling for dominance, okay? So it's like a choice that's clear that's right in front of you, but you're blinded to the truth. You already know the better choice to make. You already know the better road to go, but your mind blocks you up and it stops you. Uh, for many reasons, just fear to want to change, fear to see something that you don't want to, uh, fear of acceptance. Um, you don't want to see something bad. You don't want to accept something negative. Uh, you don't want to uh, move on sometimes, okay? So um, I feel like this is our Aquarius divine female. I feel like also there could have been a choice here that had to be made, okay? Uh, and I don't know, it could have been caught between two lovers kind of a thing here all right and trying to choose or trying to pick the the right one okay so i feel like this energy from her side with the devil means a little bit more of a temptation sort of a thing maybe turned her head or um she just wasn't ready to choose or wasn't ready to settle down or whatever the reason i feel like there was a battle for that internalized battle okay and it could still be going on now yeah, and I do feel like she wants to try to reach out here. I feel like she wants to set the record straight. I feel like she feels like she's got a lot to say. Um, but if she doesn't sort of like rationalize it and make it more logical, um, she might feel like she's under attack. Okay, like she might not have the best words to say right now or the nicest or the kindest words to say right now. Okay, but she is definitely wanting to communicate here with her um, divine male. Okay, I don't know how receptive he is to that. To me, I'm seeing that he's working on himself. He's in a different place right now. He's doing what he needs to do as part of his spiritual quest, as part of his growth process. Unfortunately, she's really not doing that, okay? And guys, I'm going to throw this in there. Sometimes you guys tell me that these read in reverse. In other words, I'm saying this about the Aquarius and the Libra is more like this or the Aquarius is more like this, okay? So that's perfectly normal um, for that to be, for that to come out, okay? So yeah, wanting to communicate. But I sense some anger here. 
okay? There's some angry feelings. There's some unresided um, sort of anger, resentment, some, some feelings, okay? I don't know if she found out that he was seeing someone else or, you know, she's on guard about that. Um, to me, this is an on guard energy, okay? She's still going to defend herself. She's still going to do it negatively, okay? She has a little bit of work to do to come out of that negativity, okay? And we're getting the chariot. To me, this is movement. I feel like she really wants to push this issue. She really wants to make the connection. She really wants to put herself out there again. I also feel like this is a sign that it is not the time to do this. It is not the time for contact. It is the time for self-motivation, movement, um, overcoming obstacles, overcoming your own personal issues, your own personal anger, resentments, all those things. It's a time to overcome those things because you have the power to do so and only if you do so there will be forward movement okay so that's for our divine female if you don't do these things there will be no movement zero movement there will be zero growth okay it's a time and a chance for our divine female to sort of get more balanced to sort of you know get it together and 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 drop that sort of uh, negative thinking, okay? It's the negative thinking that's manifesting uh, negative energy towards this whole union, okay? Sometimes we're in negative energy, it's because we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. When something's going good, 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 we're like, oh no, it's too good, boom. Something happens, right? Okay, so that's sort of the mindset a little bit here. Also control, like he was mine, I wanted him, I had him first, he's mine. It's like a a really nasty sort of um, ego that won't quiet itself, okay? And it's not a personality trait. It's part of ego. It's part of 3D existence that is hard to lose, okay? So let's get a um, power surrender card here. And that will sort of sum this reading up, okay? So we're getting surrender your fear of intimacy. Sorry, one second, guys. Okay. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Okay, so you know, that's going to go for our divine female because the cards I'm seeing for her, okay? This is more so, there could have been fear of intimacy. There could have been more control issues. Like I want, you're my property. Never mind, I love you. The devil brings that sense that, no, you're my property, okay? So this is, I think, about learning to love what real love is, what the feelings of real love are, okay? Not infatuation, not obsessions or obsessing because she's obsessing. Um, more so learning um, about your own emotions, what emotions are real, what emotions are obsessive, um, and, and sort of surrendering to the fact that if you do want to be with somebody, you have to let go and open up to them completely to have any intimacy at all, okay? So I'm feeling like this is a message for her to work on her heart chakra. Any past hurts, things from childhood, people that were mean and nasty and abusive to you, and all those things that made you feel like a piece of shit, got to get over that. Got to try to push yourself to get over that. Got to release, okay? Uh, things happen in life, guys, and you'd be surprised the energy that we come into when we're scared or it's like a life or death situation and you start to want to forgive people because you know you can't carry that around anymore. It's toxic for you to carry it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more free videos and content on this channel and I will see you guys in the next reading. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker.